Hello to everyone. Welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Xinhua reporter Wang Di. Right now, now I'm standing in front of, of a newly developed high-speed train that is using uh, superconducting technology. And this, uh, the magnetic, uh, the magnetic uh, levitational train or maglev trains are believed to have the potential to surpass the speed of airplanes in the future. So today we are going to have a close look at this uh, newly, uh, new, uh, newly developed uh, test line and find out how it can achieve a speed of 620 kilometers per hour. And first, let's take a look at this train above. It's streamlined and it's 21 meters long and three meters wide. And during operation, this locomotive will be floating 0.1 centimeter above the track. And today we have an pro invited Professor Deng from the Southwest Jiao Tong University, who is in the core research team for this maglev, maglev train. And he is going to explain to us some of the basics of how it can flow in the air. Now, Deng Jiao Tong, hello. 我们现在有一个问题，就是，请您先简单介绍一下，就是这个呃这台样车为什么可以呃保持这个悬浮的状态。好的，它呢基本原理就是车上有这个高温操作的材料，然后在液氮温度下进入超导状态，然后和我们
，超导试纸在一定的温度下，这种材料的电阻完全消失，就称为超导现象。那由于车上这个采用了超导材料，它没有电阻，所以这个列车就可以一直维持这个悬浮状态。好 ，Thank you, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dong. Uh, well, we are talking about minus 196 Celsius degrees, so that is the so-called high temperature. Um, and it's nothing to do with hot summer or hot drinks. That's the minimum. Uh, that's the minimum temperature for materials to lose electrical resistance. A superconducting material can be used to dramatically strengthen the magnetic fields and provide levitational force to keep the train afloat. Um, and the strength of maglev trains with superconducting technologies falls into three categories. First, it's very efficient in terms of energy consumption, as it uses only about 5% of an airplane. Second, it reduces emission as it consumes nitrogen instead of fossil fuels. Third, it promises, in a theory, a super fast speed at over 1,000 kilometers per hour is the long term. Um, so let's take a, a look at the video. Um, that shows how the uh, the train works in a laboratory setting. So now we are uh, entering the inside of this uh, new model of maglev train. Um, we can see that it's, uh, um, it's not as spacious as a typical high-speed train. And there is, there's also difference in, uh, in the area of a driver. Uh, uh, it seems to be no 
a seat for the driver per se. So we have invited uh, Mr. Wu Zili, who is a senior engineer uh, working uh, on this uh, project. And he is going to explain to us to the difference of this, uh, of this uh, high-speed train um, from the view of the inside. Now, uh,我们如果说我们整个座椅的布局呢,我们其实和高铁是差不多的,但是可以最大的不同点是什么呢,我看我们的前面是没有专有的司机室的,呃,我们在前面只设计了一个操作平台,然后这个呢,相当于是我
into building an actual new car uh, with a full scale. And, um, and we also have know of, uh, from various sources that it's cost about 250 to 300 million Chinese yuan to build this maglev train system per one kilometer. Although it costs slightly more than a common high-speed train in China, um, the researchers said they can bring down the cost as the core parts of the train can be produced on a massive scale. Um, for now, this is the final stop of our tour today inside the super fast life train prototype. It's a very futuristic design and comfortable to travel with. And I personally am really looking forward to experience it in real time. This is Xinhua Live. See you next time. Bye bye.